Hi, my name's Ryan Hodges. I've been diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. This is my story. I remember when I heard the news, being so confused, frustrated and almost angry. This wasn't supposed to happen to me. I was just 32 years old, fit and cycling every day. I haven't smoked a cigarette in my life. And yet, I was told I had a highly advanced stage of lung cancer with a negative prognosis. I kind of felt something wasn't right for a few months, but what I actually had never crossed my mind. The condition is so rare in someone like me, it wasn't initially detected. I was just shocked and devastated. Right from the start, I knew the odds were heavily stacked against me. But I did get support from my friends and family and from Cancer Council. It helped me through the realisation that while my form of cancer is rare, it results in the highest number of deaths and what I had was inoperable, which really only left me with two options. Say, life isn't fair, it sucks, or accept it and get on with fighting it. Then I got more news of the good kind. My wife Helen and I found out we were expecting our first child. This gave us both the determination to fight it. Two things then happened. Thanks to groundbreaking research, I underwent a course of targeted therapy, just like the research Cancer Council invests in right here in South Australia. And it was about my only hope. The other thing, I used my love of cycling to build my strength and my resolve. I'd look at hills and I'd actually say the words, you will get over this. You will get over this. All the time thinking about my illness. And it worked. The cancer did shrink and I had partial remission. But then just when I thought I'd turned the corner and got over it, at least the worst of it, last year a slight growth was detected in my main tumour. This man, chemo. There wasn't much time to wait. My first session was on New Year's Eve. Not the best way to see in 2016. But at least we had Ollie. He came into our lives just over a year ago and is absolutely the best thing that has happened to us while we face the worst. It is a huge motivation for us and a distraction from all the thoughts around my cancer. Against all expectations, my condition has actually improved and the latest scans show my cancer is now stable again. And earlier this year, I achieved something I never thought I could do, even in full health. I completed all stages of the tour down under. I did the tour to help raise money for cancer research so my son might grow up without the fear of cancer. It was also my way of showing my gratitude for all the support we received from our family, our friends, my workplace and of course from Cancer Council. So to all of you, a huge thank you.